how to make the perfect YouTube short from start to finish with a little help from AI. I'm going to create a brand new video from scratch for my history channel using AI tools at every single stage. So let's start by generating the perfect video idea by using ChatGPT4. What is something that most people don't know about World War II? I like to start with a prompt like this before generating a video script because it normally gives some more interesting information to use as the core idea. And this answer looks pretty good to me. It talks about how the US used ghost armies of inflatable tanks and sound effects to create the illusion of a much larger force. So now let's generate the first draft of a script by being very specific. Write me a fast paced 30 second YouTube script based on this fact in the style of an intelligent YouTuber. Now this result is a little bit wordy, the intro and outro especially are both way too long for a YouTube short which needs to be very fast paced. And that's because to get the very best results you shouldn't be using the first script that comes out of the AI, you always need to make some edits. Make this script faster paced and more engaging. We can also get very specific about the kind of edits we want to see, something like open this script with an intriguing question that gets answered right at the end. Now these results aren't terrible and you could definitely use them to make a decent video but we're aiming for perfection. And the fact is that your personal knowledge about the YouTube platform and what makes a good video is gonna help take your script to the next level. For example, I've seen success in my YouTube shorts when I loop them back around to the start from the outro to the intro in a seamless way. And it's actually made my retention go over 100%. So you can try asking ChatGPT to write a script like this, but it just doesn't really understand the prompt. So what I'm saying is yes, use ChatGPT to generate a first draft, use it to generate some cool facts, but to make the perfect video, you need to manually assemble the script yourself. So you should end up with a final product that uses the best of AI and your own personal knowledge. Then it's time to record. And with AI, getting the perfect take has never been easier. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and recorded my video with my eyes looking down at the computer screen as I read my script line by line. And all I'm gonna do is head over to v.io, upload my video from my computer. And once my clip is sitting in the timeline, I'm just gonna quickly change it to the correct size for a YouTube short from this drop down menu and make sure it fits nicely like so. And now we're gonna use some real AI magic. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on the eye contact button and check this out. In just a few seconds, the AI has corrected my gaze so it looks like I'm staring directly into the lens for the entire recording. This is what it looks like before and this is what it looks like after. It's even replicating my blinking so it looks natural. Now this feature is brand new and it's just about to be released on Veed so make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell and I'll let you know exactly when it goes live. So as you can see, my raw footage in the timeline is 1 minute and 19 seconds long. So normally I would now watch that through and manually cut out any mistakes, any pauses, any breaks. But now if I just select my video in the timeline, scroll down to the remove silences button and with just one click all of the pauses have been removed from my footage automatically. So all I need to do now is remove any mistakes by clicking on that clip deleting it from the timeline and moving them along. Right above this button is the clean audio tool. So if your recorded audio has some annoying background noise or maybe it's just a little bit low quality in general, all you need to do is just click on this button and it will be automatically improved by the AI. Here's what my audio sounds like directly out of the camera. Secret ghost armies helped to win World War II. And here's what it sounds like after I've used the AI. Secret ghost armies helped to win World War II. So now that my audio is crystal clear, we can get on with the more fun parts of the editing process. For example, if your background is a little bit boring, just select your footage in the timeline, scroll down to remove background on the left hand side, and by enabling this feature, you can see that your background will be completely deleted and you can simply layer anything you like underneath it. You could even try adding some stock footage. Just go to media, scroll down to the stock video section and just search for whatever you need. In my case, I'm just gonna look for World War and already you can see all of the stock footage options that fit my search. And if I click on one, it adds it to the timeline and to use it as my background, all I need to do is layer it underneath my talking head like so and it already looks much more dynamic. You can also use stock footage to add more context to the rest of your video. 
I'm gonna cover my short with more relevant footage that helps to explain what I'm talking about and it also makes the video more fun to watch. And if there's any context that can't be added by stock footage, you could try generating an AI image using Veed's text to image generator. For example, in my script, I mentioned that the US Army used inflatable tanks, which is obviously gonna be quite hard to find in any stock footage library. So I'm just gonna open up the image generator and just like ChatGPT, I'll add a detailed description of what I want to see, which in this case is a group of World War II army tanks, but they are inflated like a balloon. And there you go. I can now download this image and use it in my edit. I'm also gonna add some stock music in the exact same way as I added the stock video. Just go to audio, stock music, and find whatever track works for your footage. And another essential thing you need to add to your YouTube shorts is subtitles. Just go to subtitles, auto subtitle, create subtitles, and in just a few seconds, the AI will listen to your audio and add some text on top of your video, which you can then customize with animated presets. You can change the size, you can change the color. And for YouTube shorts, I recommend moving your subtitles a little closer to the middle of the screen. And of course, we're gonna need a really good title or caption. I've asked ChatGPT to generate a one sentence social media caption based on this script that will intrigue the viewer to watch the video no hashtags, one emoji, less than 10 words. So by being very specific, it's giving some good suggestions. And if I don't like the suggestion, I could just ask for another one. And now we're ready to post. So let's sit back and watch the final product. Secret ghost armies helped to win World War II. Did you know that the US Army used inflatable tanks, fake radio chatter, and sound effects to trick the Axis forces? The 23rd Headquarters Special Troops was made up of roughly 1,100 soldiers, including artists, engineers and actors. And you probably won't have heard of them. This unit was classified for decades, only becoming public knowledge in the 80s and 90s. So that's how. Now, if you want to see if you can generate some amazing YouTube thumbnails using AI, you need to check out this video next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.